Good morning. So three days later. It's 9.53, seven minutes before checkout. Of course, per <laughs> usual. We're walking to go get a cup of coffee and we're finally leaving the Abel Tasman National Park. We've been here for three days. Mm -hmm. It's so beautiful, it's like a paradise. But we're about to go now cross over onto the west coast of the South Island, which is a really, what I hear, a really beautiful drive, um, really remote, not a lot of people head over that way. That's, that's the plan. What, that's what we're up to. Good plan. Good plan, let's go first. Let's go get some coffee. Coffee. So, just to let you know, there's about 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes waiting for coffee. Oh, really? Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we just pulled over on the side of the road. It is so insanely beautiful. There's this like beautiful creek that we've been following for a long time now, but going into the mountains. And we pulled over, we're going down this sketchy path. We don't know if it leads down there or not, or we might be on someone's like, kind property. Kind of the story of our lives. <laughs> kind of is, we're gonna go figure it out. An uncharted path that looks like a path. And we're hoping it's gonna lead to where we want I just want up. to see this beautiful creek. But we're course. not sure. But you never know unless you get out and explore, right? Very so true. here we I go. I didn't see any signs that said keep out. Well at least we know there's no snakes here in New Zealand. It's very true. But you can hear it. Do you hear it? I can hear it. I hear it. I hear it. <laughs> I'm not that flexible with my back. <laughs> oh my god! I'm stuck. My knees! <laughs> oh, okay. And she broke the limbo stick. That was probably like a booby trap. Oh my god, my knees hurt. Well, Kim oh doesn't do limbo. Well, my knees hurt from the tongue still. Still, from the tongue. I can't like go more back. Like, you gotta bend the knees. I can't! Oh That's what I'm saying. Oh my god. Can you hear that? We hiked this unknown trail to reach this point here where it is a complete drop off. Well, we tried it, it didn't work. So we didn't find the creek that we were looking for but we did stumble upon the new breaking bad new zealand edition <laughs> slash where's walter slash we thought it was like somebody camping and we were really nervous yeah we didn't want to walk up here it was a little, just a little sketch like a burnt out van i'm scared flipped I'm over out of here. yeah we're in like i feel like there's a murder what was that blair witch project what in the world Oh, so you run and leave me. Awesome. We literally just went down that path. We came around this turn right here. And this was here. And it says access to the fish. And so we still don't even know if it's the right spot. But it's definitely a lot better than where we were. After we just tramped through the woods. <laughs> so here's a great metaphor for life. Because the first attempt that we thought was going to bring us down here did not work out the way that we thought it would. It completely ended. We had to turn around. But then... We saw another stop, like two Around seconds up the road, and we're like, "Yeah, let's try it again." We didn't give up, Look and where it led. and we're the only ones here.
god! Oh my Babe! He came up and touched my foot. Oh. He just, there was nothing big. No, I'm not getting it. Yeah, you have to. You have no. to. Babe, hey, it's perfectly fine. No, it's fine. 100% he's down the current. We'll go right here, get in, and get out. pushing me out of my comfort zone because I wasn't going to do it and you pushed me. How cool is it? I'm so glad I did. Like we stripped down, we just went swimming in a river on the side of the road with nobody else here. It was so refreshing and I'm glad that you made me do it. Yep. Even with our eel friend. And you were screaming the whole time, but it was good. Well, there was a little bit of drama, but it wouldn't be it wouldn't be me in water exactly. if there wasn't just, drama around the water. One, I can't believe you got in with the cold. I know. And then with knowing, knowing that the eel, eel and he was circling. <sighs> See? Thank you for not letting him come up to me. Technically he was gone, but I knew the fact that he came up to me while I was just sitting in the water floating. I knew that this was his area um, and he had no problem with the current. So I knew he was around here somewhere, See, but I lied. was just... No, I didn't lie. He was gone. You said he was back in the rapids. Well, he went out into the rapids. I didn't believe but you anyway. I didn't know if he was going to come back, and sure enough, he did. I was just hoping he didn't come back while she was in the water. No, I wish we would have got a picture. We did get a picture. Anyway. Oh, my knee. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Are we being serious right now? I put my knee on that height. Because now every time I put pressure on it, it hurts. Really? Yeah. I can jump just with my left foot. I'm like a panita. Where is this 
working. Okay, okay. 